And welcome back to the commentator booth where it is getting hot, 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 not only in the studio, but also on the field with Ronin versus Exodus final match of best out of three. What do we have here, Fozzie? So Exodus has brought exactly the same setup they used in the first match of this best of three. So it's the Rattlesnake, Tengu, Basilisk, Gila's. This is a damping, kiting team. Uses the Rattlesnake possibly just as bait that never really got taken until the very end. The Ronin, on the other hand, has brought a team that I think is much better than the, what they had in that first match against this. It's a triple Navy Scorpion, very likely Tinker, with a Basilisk, and then a bunch of Assault Frigs. It's a very strong Assault Frig wing. I feel that we're going to see a damp war between Ronin and Exodus, with Exodus perhaps being a slightly better position with those Molluses versus those Merlins on the Ronin side. And with that, a match is underway with the Ronin frigates rushing towards those Exodus ships, trying to get some tackle for those three Navy Scorpions yeah. to put their damage on. It's worth noting that the uh, Ronin Basilisk didn't come in in the same place as the frigates. It's about 30... Oh, we just saw micro jump drives. We are Whoa. seeing... A micro, the Navy Scorpion Navy issues micro jump drive <laughs> right into the middle of the Exodus team. They, wow. That's a way to counter damps. Having they said that, the Basilisk on the Ronin side is taking going massive so damage. Wow. He is dropping oh. through armor into hull, and he is in. There he's, he's gone. dead. Wow. He's down. That's While the Exodus. Action. While the Exodus Basilisk has been primary and was taking damage, but is able to still rep. Yeah, it's taking, uh, it's it's getting its reps in just fine right now. Now those Navy Scorps have landed. They're going to have their locks in place, and they're going to, they're, oh, wow, those missiles hit hard. That Basilisk, that Basilisk is, is going melting. to go down. He's now Now webbed. he's webbed, so he's going to take extra bit more damage from those yeah. missiles coming towards it. And painted, meanwhile, an Enyo for the Ronin is dropping down. These are shield Enyos. They're going to go down pretty fast. That Bassy needs to go down fast if Ronin wants to have a chance in this. Those Navy Scorpions, very likely, are going to be able to cap transfer to each other to have very big ASV tanks. But those frigates are going to go down pretty fast. And Exodus is very smartly clearing them off the field right now. Ronin is shedding frigates like no tomorrow. They've lost an Enyo, a Merlin, and now a Harpy in armor. That is not a good place for a Harpy to be. One of those frigates they lost was the thing tackling the Basilisk. The Basilisk, there you go, web back on him now. But there was no web on him for quite a while, which I think is why he's still alive right now. He's going to go down, I think, at this point. He's ASB's, uh, I believe, on reload there. Um, but it's probably going to be too late, I think. The well, well, well interestingly enough, uh, Ronin are splitting fire between a Rattlesnake and a Basilisk. So when this Basilisk goes down here in the next few seconds, they are going to be in a slightly better position uh, if they focus back on that Rattlesnake. The Basilisk, Mr. Falcon for Exodus, is now down, dead, yep. while Ronin keeps on shedding those frigates. So it looks like it was mainly the um, Assault Frigates that were killing the Basilisk there, while the damage to the Navy Scorps is on the Rattlesnake. That, na that Rattlesnake um, is not going to be able to boost forever. It's, it's not going to have the cap to continue running an ASB after it's out of charges and that means it will drop eventually. These Navy Scorps are going to be tinkering with each other which is a huge advantage they have as this fight gets longer. Yes, I do feel though that the Ronin has to put down this Rattlesnake into armor here very fast because I don't know if that Tinker Tank is going to be enough and to actually, uh, go against two Kilas, Rattlesnake, and Tentengo. I think I may have assumed a bit too much. Those Rattlesnakes, or those Scorpion Navy issues, are not cap transferring each other right now. Ooh. So that means those they are going to drop. It's going to take them a while to drop. Scorpion Navy issues do still have a really big tank, but they're not going to be a tank forever. And with that, I'm pretty confident that Exit is going to be able to take this match out. They still have That's the Kilas. Right. Well, and they've still got, uh, mainly they got the healers and the uh, molluses. Yes, this, this rattlesnake is now dropping down to half armor, though. Once it's full. So what's going to happen it's is the rattlesnake's going to die. The navy scorpion's going to die not too long afterwards. But then at that point, it's going to be two navy scorpions versus this whole field, and they're going to have mollus a mol like yes. a mollus and a half for each of them. That's true. There's going to be three molluses left on the field, um, and two harpies, Merlin there as well. Mm -hmm. Pff, it's not looking too good for Ronan here. Now that being said, yeah, yeah, it's, it's I think uh, definitely we are seeing. Oh, the cap transfers are up. It looks like the cap transfers actually just broke when they were moving. Oh, so. That means that, <laughs> well, so Chekorovitz well. there is going to die, I'm sure. It's going to take a little while. The Rattlesnake for Strum, though. He Not is fall. lasting for he's a still very long time. Man, the fact that he is still he's alive back. is huge. That, I think that means no one can lock him. He's just out of ah, range. That's he true. can't be locked You're at this right. point is what my best guess. That's and that right. means that this is firmly in Exodus' hands. If uh, the Ronin can't apply their fire, maybe they've got FOF missiles, but FOF missiles won't be able to pick your targets correctly. The uh, Exodus team will just move in with one of the assault frigs and uh, tank the missiles and then move out when it gets low. 
So yeah, like I mean, Strum there is um, boosting again. Looks like he got a reload on his ASB, and he's gonna be fine. Yes. So that's gonna be Exodus winning their uh, best two out of three in three matches against the Ronin. This doesn't, however, mean the Ronin is out of the tournament. This just drops them down into the elimination bracket, and we'll still be seeing more of them uh, later today, actually. That's true. I can't help but feel that this is a bit of an upset, no matter. Um, Ronin dropping to losers yeah. bracket against. Um, Fairly unknown in the Alliance tournament circuits anyway, uh, Exodus. Um, Exodus certainly has put on a strong showing here, bringing a setup after setup and, and uh, flying them fairly well. I know, they've been doing excellent, excellent execution of all these setups. These uh, kiting teams like the Gila Rattlesnake team they've got here does require a lot of skilled flying. Um, unlike Pandemic Legion, they managed not to fly anyone out of the arena. Um, and that's the kind of thing that does take a lot of practice and a lot of piloting skill to be able to pull off with a kiting team. And uh, they're going to be killing this last Navy Scorpion. Exodus, I think, is a team that a lot of us who have been kind of watching things like the SCL have been had their eye on for a while because they've been doing so well there, so well in the New Eden Open. Um, but, uh, yeah, they're definitely relative newcomers to the tournament. Like I said on the uh, desk, I do uh, think there's a lot of similarities between where these guys are now and where Darkseid was a couple of years back when people, when they just kind of come into their um, semifinal uh, or quarterfinal loss um, against PL in 88 and then came back to knock PL out in 89. Um, Exodus is a team like that that is new to the tournament, relatively speaking, but is still very, very strong and I think is going to be uh, a team that can knock out one of the big heavy hitters. That's right, the last Navy Scorpion from the Ronin side now dropping into armor. Once he goes into armor, of course, as a shield tanker, he's going to be out of the field fairly fast. Exodus, having only lost the Basilisk, yeah. uh, are in a very strong position going forward, of course. They do not have a match today anymore. They nope. advance down to Exodus the final game. Uh, can final relax game. and just watch some yep. teams, maybe do some practicing tonight. Um, I think they deserve a bit of rest after all this uh, best two out of three. The Ronin, on the other hand, is going to have to fight towards the end of the day. They're going to be fighting the winner of Dark Side and Verge of Collapse. <laughs> up against the wall. That's not a comfortable place to be at all. No. So no. after this Navy Scorpion dies, we we're going to take a quick break. But then after that, the final match of this <sighs> series, not necessarily the final match of the tournament between those two, between Hydra Reloaded and Pandemic Legion. Um, the first match of it saw the most expensive tournament match in the Alliance tournament history as uh, a flagship, a Cambion, and an Atana all died. The second match uh, tied it up, and uh, we'll be seeing the third one in a few minutes. But for now, we'll send you back to Soundwave in the studio. <laughs> 